Today is episode 12. If you're new, drop a subscribe down below so you don't miss any episodes. And let's get right into this one. I'm going to start posting three times a week, so make sure you don't miss anything. And if you missed last episode, make sure you go back and watch that. It was the first time Jesus Fabianski stepped on the pitch for the Italian club. Not exactly what you wanted to see, but let's get out there on the pitch and get started in this episode. This is the best we got, and we shall see exactly how it goes here versus Liverpool. It's going to be Middlesbrough. I don't really know what to expect for this match, but I do know that I'm having some technical difficulties with my recording. But here we go. Beautiful play already. And there it is, a quick pass, Diego Jota. Looking for the play, but Middlesbrough, we have to make it. Sobaslai already into the back of the net. And I mean, of course, Liverpool's gonna be moving at a very high pace today. And if we don't stop them, we're gonna get ran off the pitch every single time. Look at the crowd at Anfield. What? What is showing up here? I'm pretty sure we are at Anfield, though. You know, I could be mistaken, but a beautiful shot to the upper right corner by Sobaslai. Not exactly what you want to see as a Middlesbrough player or fan. And that's exactly what I'm saying when, I mean, if I can play right, ah, come on. Diego Jota, good play, good play. Get it away, McNair. There it is, McCreegy. And a horrible challenge. That's a red card. Get him out of here. Red. I think that might be Diego Jota, red card. Finally, that should be a red card. Get him out of here. Thank you, Diego Jota, red card on the day. And Jesus Fabianski looking to go out here and score an amazing goal. Now. We'll see exactly what he has in store, but Diego Jota woo, caught him with the back heel on that challenge. Just horrible, horrible, horrible skill. Nair, good pass. All right, Fabianski, let's work, let's work. Ah. Latilath. Good shot. Not bad, not bad. I know Allison's pretty good, top-notch keeper. So we're probably gonna have to come with something a bit more courageous. It was a good effort, and look at Jesus. Great play, ah, but not a good way to keep the ball. And there it is, good possession. We know Liverpool being a gang and press type squad and looking for a beautiful pass. There it is, Latilaf off his head and maybe in the net. Oh, back and forth right now. They are up one nil. But Diego Jota getting pulled off the pitch could be to our advantage. There it is, there it is. Mo Salah, how? 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 I'm over it. I'm literally over it, man. I had a comment that said, you know what, maybe you should stay at Middlesbrough to be a realistic career mode. Since I'm doing that, it's a realistic type of uh, vibe. But, um... I can't. This is exactly what I was dealing with at SC Freiburg 2. Lack of defense compared to the rest of the league. And I mean, come on, bro. I can't do it all, right? I mean, I'll try my best on offense. I mean, look at the quick pass, Latilath. Trying to make it work, Emmanuel. And come on, fellas. It's not that hard to put your best foot forward. What? Nah, bro, I'm done. That's the white flag, bro. We're waving it. Waving the white flag, 3-0 before the first half. And Mo Salah demolishing us today. I'm not even sure if I want to play the second half, bro. Decent, decent. And here's a corner kick opportunity. Hopefully it goes to me. It does. Looking for the shot now. Jesus, one-time shot. Maybe. Get it off. Almost. Just the CB getting there and making a good block on the shot. Abysmal, though. Sobaslai with a brace and Mo Salah, perhaps with the best goal I've seen so far in the Premier League. Let me know right now in the comments section who should we play for? Because Middlesbrough FC is just going to be a jump off team for sure. Um, but after this, I will be looking to spend at least three seasons at the team we choose. So, looking like we're getting our ass whooped right now. But let's see how the second half goes for Jesus Fabianski. Wow. My right foot is just so trash. I'm not sure exactly how to get the weak foot up. But it's one star right now. And honestly, I would like to see it about three. That'd be fair for the level of football we're playing at. And of course, today, a abysmal, just horrendous play on the pitch from Jesus Fabianski in Middlesbrough. A 3-0 loss. Once again, another loss. And hopefully next match, we can bounce back from that horrendous, horrendous loss. I'll see everyone in the next match, hopefully with the victory, because Jesus Fabianski is definitely going through it here at Middlesbrough FC. A match here against Leicester City. We should win this match. And if we don't, 
Uh, I just I just have nothing to say. If we do not win this match today, I have no words at all for Middlesbrough FC. But we are here live from the home ground, I'm pretty sure. And it is that time for the victory. If we don't get the win today, I'm going to be very disappointed in our team, in our skills, and our future here at Middlesbrough. I will be looking to go to a new team after this, simply because I don't see myself being on a trash team for three seasons. No disrespect, but this team is guard. My teammates are like 60s, 70 overalls. They were able to get promoted, but next season we are looking at relegation. So once again, let me know down below in the comment section which team I should try and go to. Koitza, and there it is, good play. Jesus Fabiante comes down and collects, and finally Middlesbrough has a chance to go the other way now. Looking for a quick play and a beautiful pass now. Let's make it work, Smith, let's make it work. Ah, come on, Smith. This is what I'm talking about. Makatir already going into the net. And of course, off the crossbar, thank the Lord. And here he is right back. I want to keep bringing these episodes to y'all. But every time I get on this team and play with them, they are dog. They're so trash. Nobody makes the pass you need. Nobody can shoot it in the back of the net anymore. We're gonna have to just play pretty much Jesus Fabianski football until we have a man open. All right, here we go. Right back, Smith, come on. Thank you. Let's go, let's keep it moving. That's how we're gonna win this match. Keep the ball moving and we should be good to go. Ah, there we go. Gotta move it back to the open man, to the open man. Ah, that's a tough one. This ultimate difficulty as well is no joke. Probably another factor in it. Koita, already making a move of the pitch now. Makatia, Thomas. I mean, a lot of names I do not know on this Leicester City. And here it is, Jesus Fabianski. Could be gone, could be long gone. And he has to shoot this one into the back of the net. We know it. And here it is, quick finish. Right back, baby. That's the way it's done. And of course, Jesus Fabianski getting the equalizer today. 1876 on the back of the kit. And obviously, not much of a surprise. We know he's about that. And look at the pace. Flying up the pitch and a beautiful finish with the left foot. Strong footed finish by Jesus Fabianski into the back net. Right to the top right bins as well. Exactly what you need to see in the gaffer. Knows exactly what that means for the momentum. Finally, it's been so long since we saw a shot like that and it's back for Middlesbrough FC. Oh, there we go, our ball. Thank you. It's just the effort play. Keep it easy. Keep it easy, McNair. That's a foul. That's a foul. Okay. Free kick. No card, but a free kick. Looks like Leicester City has the crowd in their pocket today, even though it is a home affair. Looking to work the middle a bit and a good pass now. Azaz. Latelat. A good turn. Beautiful stop. One more. Good fake. Let's move it back. Keep it easy. Keep it easy. Back, back, back. One more. One more. Latelat. Good touch, Emmanuel. Back, back, back. Good shot, Azaz. Oh, my days. Finally. I knew today had a good feeling about it. And I'm not even sure why. But look at this. We're going over to the gap. But maybe Azaz finally got his start today. And that is the goal to take the lead against Leicester City. Not a lot of momentum right now overall in the season. We are dead last. So pretty much we have nothing to lose going forward. Hopefully we keep getting these victories and keep winning these matches. Switch the pitch, and there it is. Good touch from Jesus, and already making a move. Let's move it backwards. Smith on the ball, and a good touch now. And a way to move it around, Jesus Fabianski trying to get involved in the attack. And a quick touch from Smith, calling for the ball, now it's Jesus. But of course, the call for it was ignored, and the wrong pass was made. Ball over the top from Baez. Tom Lesson looking for the cross now, but I think we should be on that. And a beautifully played ball from our CB. And of course, look at this, Jesus in the run. In the run, holding his step. And there it is, he has a step on number three. He could go all the way. Good step. Oh, oh, ref! Oh my days. I'm thinking it was a clean run all the way in. But of course, the ref allows a bit too much in the box. And Jesus Fabianski just could not convert that one. It was gonna be tough, but we had to stay focused and get this victory. We know Jesus Fabianski on the wrong side of the pitch, just trying to overload a pass into the middle. And here it is, Jesus Fabianski. 
and Middlesbrough back on the wall looking for their first win in ages. And there it is. Jesus Fabianski and Azaz on the day. Two goals in the first half ended up spelling disaster for Leicester City. Just want to say thank you for tuning in to this match. We have two more left and I will see everyone in the next one. All right, everyone. We are here live with Jesus Fabianski training to get right for the next Premier League match. Now, pretty much in these, I think I have to just shoot it through the cones and try and make it into the goal with hitting the target. A beautiful Travella there, and let's see what the goalie has on us. A good left-footed shot, but Diang, we're probably gonna have to uh, curl this one. There it is. Oh, and we just happened to get in the back of the net. It says lost ball a few times, but I'm not too worried. I'm just gonna stay focused and um, keep shooting my shot. There it is, a beautiful shot. Once again, Jesus Fabianski lining up with the right foot, and he clips it in there. Now, I think to upgrade my weak foot ability, like the star ability, three, four, five, etc., I'm gonna have to pretty much get goals, a lot of goals in the first place, but with my weak foot. Now, it's gonna be tough, and I'm gonna try my hardest pretty much just to set up every goal opportunity I have to be on that right foot. But here we go, back at it, and I'm not really worried about the grade I get on this because if I can just get a little bit of a C grade, something minor, it's nothing crazy, you know? Finishing the goal is not gonna be my best attribute. It's not really what I'm looking forward to either. It's gonna be more of assisting my teammates, setting them up for greatness. And look at that, Jesus Fabianski already feeling good. The weak foot flying on all cylinders. This is going to have to be how I get my shots. Look at that, A grade, 36,000 on the day. And I'll see everyone when it's time for that match against West Ham United. And here we are once again, a great Premier League matchup. It is that time, Middlesbrough FC. We have been playing horribly so far in this season. And I'm trying to make my way up the Premier League table. It's definitely gonna be difficult, but here we are playing against West Ham United. And it looks like we're playing outside of the pool. I'm not sure what's going on with the pitch today, but we're just not even gonna worry about it. We're gonna play our game and allow the ball to come to us. Now, Jesus Fabianski is a youngster, so he is prepared and he is athletic. There it is already. And a great shot from Jesus. Oh, but be ready because it looks like West Ham United We'll be going for the ankle bones today. Ball played in, Jesus with a good touch. Good pass down the middle. McCreegy moving it around now and Jesus Fabianski gets bumped into his teammate. Looking for a shot now and it must be, get there, Latte Lat, it's gonna be a handball. And it's going to be a free kick for Jesus Fabianski. We have not seen him have a free kick in quite some time. This might be his first one in the Premier League and it could not be in a better position. Literally, could not be. Feel good about this one. I think it's gonna be a goal. Oh, almost. Just not enough pace on that shot. The precision, it was there, the accuracy. Just not enough pace, man. And I mean, of course we wanna get that beautiful free kick goal. That's probably one of the best goals you can score. The most David Beckham-esque. And a quick pass, Latte Laf in the middle. And a good run, and what a shot. Areola in the net. <laughs> Don't let your mind slip. We're talking about the pitch play here. And a good touch off the chest from Jesus. Now looking for a goal, passing it around McCreegy. Back to the left side. And a good touch from McNair. One of the ball back in the middle of the pitch. Good shot. It's going to be a back and forth. Paqueta moves it now. Mohamed Kourouz in the attack on the left side. And we're looking to make a play. Way to come down on it. And here it is. Good step inside. Correra. No luck though, exactly what you want to see. A goal kick and hopefully an advantageous position and play made on this one. Here it is, here it is. Good touch by Jesus. And of course, our next match for the first one of the episode will be Manchester City. So make sure you stay tuned. And here we go, looking for a shot now. Good fake, Jesus looking for the step and across, across the face to the back post. What a cross and finish from Jesus to Emmanuel Latelath. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But what a finish. What a finish, man. Look at this. Oh, stop playing with him. Comes back to the ball. He was too forward on the position. Comes back to the ball and mosses Emerson on the back post. What a play. What a cross. And what a finish from Emmanuel Latelath. The number nine man for 
Middlesbrough FC here on the pitch and on the day. Wow, an amazing finish, an amazing cross, an amazing play overall. And here it is, Ward Prowse making the movement now, Cornet. Back to Ward Prowse, and we know he has distance on his shot, and there it is. And I told you exactly what we didn't want to see Ward Prowse do was have opportunities to shoot the long ball. We know he can make it on a free kick, so you best believe he can make it on open play. The number seven man, a beautiful shot, but man, the keeper, he had good reactions, good effort, but just not enough skill on that play to make the save. We see the manager for their side, definitely enjoying whatever just happened for him. And I'm pretty sure Ward Prowse is gonna go down as one of the best players for his team, West Ham United today. And here we are, a quick pass inside. And there it is, beautiful, Azaz gets it away. 85 minutes played, now or never for the goal game winner. Ward Prowse snatches it off the boot though. Correra looking for the goal. We need to do something, a beautiful, beautiful interception, Bengara. 89 minutes played, must be through ball. Play it, play it, play it. Ball backwards. There it is, move it forward, move it forward, Smith. Ah, that's game. I knew it was gonna be game once we moved that ball back. And I mean, come on. A great match today. Probably the best assist I've ever had in Jesus Fabianski's career. Beautifully laid it up there. Latte Lauf came in, just headed it into the goal like nothing. It was so easy today. I really thought we were going to get the victory, but Ward Prowse on the opposition had other things to say. I will see everyone in our last match, an Italian friendly, and I'll see everyone, hopefully, with the victory. And here we are. Now, I'm not too sure exactly which one to go with. Since we're here in the Premier League, and I know it's very, very important to make sure the future is good to go, we can actually donate some money to the schools, and hopefully that will actually boost our personality up to be the heartbeat. If we see here on the left-hand side, our heartbeat is at 38%, Virtuoso 37, and the Maverick 25. Now, when I look through here, the Maverick really is not that important to me. I have no interest at all in getting any of these traits. I am using the first touch right now, just because I can, it's 25%, why not? I had a comment that said I should use the technical ability in the heartbeat skill tree. I'm trying my hardest right now to get to 50%. Now, that might take a little bit of time, but what I'm trying to do is just focus on the heartbeat right now so next match you definitely will see me passing the ball around a lot and going with a heartbeat focus game goal now let's check out that match right now and see exactly how we're doing it's going to be an international friendly at the stadion olympic i'm pretty sure that's in germany let me know down below in the comment section if i'm right about that but we will be playing against the finnish side i think martin odegaard is actually from finland let me know down below in the comment section as well I'll see everyone on the pitch when it's go time for this great match for Italy. Italia! <laughs> and here we are, El Shawari, Maratti, and Jesus Fabianski, the number eight man. We see him right there, and like I said, we need to pass the ball around this match. Three passes in the opposition's grounds shall get us the boost in the hard beat. Now I'm gonna play it nice and short. Nice and smooth. I'm not sure what to expect on this finish side, but I'm pretty sure this team plays five at the back. That's what I see right now so far. And I've already been going some crazy passes already, but I'm trying to get these three passes off. Just keep moving it. There it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Good turn. Jesus Fabianski controlling the ball. Good touch. El Sawari. Foul, foul, foul. Thank you. And a free kick. I really wish it was me taking this free kick, but I'm actually gonna like, I'm gonna let him take it, number 23, and we shall see if he's good or not. Oh, not bad. I gotta make sure to get my free kick ability high enough so that I'll be taking the free kicks every team that I'm on. I guess we're trying to see how everybody plays, and Mancini, like challenge by Jesus Fabianski, and a great touch. Look at that, can't even get me. Can't even get me, good run, and a good step over move. Looking for the shot now. Oh. Joe Ronan. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Jesus. Good pass. Oh! Ho -ho. Tell me y'all ain't see that one going in the net. Look at this shot. Curling, 
far outside and hopefully coming back in. That's probably a few feet off from the top left bins, but I can tell my gaffer did not like that one. The manager definitely did not have a face of appreciation for that shot. And even though it was a good effort, he probably just wanted to see something a bit more higher probability. Let's put it that way. I'm not gonna call for it anymore, especially with players of this caliber. Like, look at that. Great play. And Jesus Fabianski looking for the cross now. I see it. Travella. Ah, El Shawari. I thought he was gonna come in and just play that one with his foot. And that's exactly why he's getting taken off the pitch. Baradi coming on now for him at the left wing position. And a good touch. The Finland side really does show me some things that I had no idea they had. I mean, they have really good skill, good ball control. Um, one thing about them though, their defense is not the greatest. So hopefully we can get a goal here late in this match and prove victorious. Oof, good move though. They have some good offensive players. And Pookie, who guy maybe it is, and Di Lorenzo. No surprise, and of course, that's the way it's done. And I shouldn't be on this left side, but we're looking for the goal here. So no shame in my game right now. Trying to make the play, working my way back to the right side and a beautiful ball roll. Good step now, looking for the pass to set this goal up. There it is, goal has to be. He's definitely offside. Definitely, definitely offside. And I mean, that's the type of plays we're looking to make. We know Jesus Fabianski can make them. It's just all about being in the right spot and holding up the runs. Handball, maybe? Thank you. I knew it. Having to make a play. And there it is. Ah, no luck. Two minutes of extra time. And it's a back and the fourth affair today for Jesus Fabianski. Just want to say thank you very much for tuning into this episode. I will see everyone back at the main menu. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below. Just want to say thank you very much if you watched this far into the episode. You're the true supporter of this channel. I'll see everyone back at the main menu for the episode recap and update of his stats. And a look from around the league. Jack Grealish, the number one goal scorer with 11 matches played. We've only played 11 matches. Okay, so that's not that many matches. And Jesus Fabianski not looking bad either with five goals in 11. Now, if we go through here and maybe find the assisters, and there he is, sitting at number 14, top 15, three assists in 11 matches. So pretty much he has eight goal contributions in 11 matches. So he's jumping off the chart right now and making the best of the situation he's in. He's definitely the best player on the team. And like I said, through 13 appearances, apparently, seven goals and four assists. So 11 goal contributions in 13 appearances. His match ratings jumping off the charts as well. He had two goals and one assist in the Carabao Cup, and he still lost that match. Wow. Still crazy to think about. Latte La, though, five goals with 13 appearances. We want to get him as many goals as possible this season. Maybe 20. I think that's great. That's probably 20 assists from Jesus Fabianski. So, everyone, actually, let's do the standings as well. All right, and to end this episode off, we have the standings for the Premier League. At the very top of the table, it is Manchester City, no surprise. Liverpool, who we got demolished by today. Spurs and Arsenal. So it looks like Manchester and Liverpool up north in the UK taking over and North London representing for the Londoners, essentially. I'm not sure. Is that what you call someone from London? A Londoner? But it does not matter because Middlesbrough, we were dead last at the start of this episode, but now jumping up to 19th in our next match in next episode will be an international friendly and Manchester City the number one undefeated team in the whole Premier League. Just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. It's been Frank on the pitch with Jesus Fabianski. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.